Oh, here. Sir. You can you can self it. How you do it? Oh, you self it. Yeah. I'm a self. I'm the the king. Yeah, you self it. Oh there you shit! Go. Look at that. Mm. Uh, so, all right, we're here. We are at uh, Armageddon, Noble, Oklahoma. Biggest snow prep this year, in my opinion. It's fixing to be off the chain. Uh, my car didn't make it. We rushed it, rushed it, rushed it. Just couldn't get it together. So. I am going to be with you, the people, all weekend, and we're gonna make this this whole Facebook Live thing lit. So I'm gonna go around and talk to some of the guys, find out who's gonna win, who's gonna lose, find out how much money they got on it, and uh, see what's up. First, look, there he is, right here. We got win. What here to win? He's there. I mean, that's it. All right, we can shut this off, Phantom. He's gonna win. All right, we're done. We're right. done. We're done. <laughs> what's the what's the scoop? What do you got? What's going on? Uh, I took your advice last. If you're not, if you're not aware, Dave left last night for the test session. At about midnight, I had to put pistons in the car, but it's here. What happened? Are you ready? Did you sleep? I did. I did. They didn't. We replaced. Hey, I went home with bed. Do I put a piston in? Yeah. Four o'clock. We got this. Got done at four o'clock. That's how important this race is. At midnight last night, they left to go put a piston in this thing to be back here by today, and here they are. The car is here. Everybody's here. Ain't nobody at work. Yeah. No, but only y'all. Only people oh, yeah. watching the show. Right? So far at Armageddon, Friday we got Jeff Lutz, Murder Nova, Daddy Dave Fit. We just walked. We flipped. I mean, five foot away. We got Manza. The said is just flip bumper himself. Just, just making it not fun. Yeah. ZFG Monza. We call it <laughs> ZFG. ZFG. This here's CFG Monza. He brought his own fan. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, and look, it's not on the people in line. Yeah. The fan is on him. What happens when you get old? You gotta have one. <laughs> CFG. You don't give a fan about nothing. You got your fan on him. I usually have a fan in my belt. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> How you gonna do today? How you gonna do? It looks good. It's a bad hey, bitch. It's a bad bitch. Yeah, like bad yeah I know it's a bad bitch. I've raced it before. Uh, you test last night? No. Why? Big head dog in the building. <laughs> Big head dog in the building. <laughs> Had to have a hat custom made just for this event. <laughs> My man, right here. What's up, baby? Hey. Uh, Daddy? Uh, is it ready? What's up? Yeah, hell yeah, it's ready. Cool. Dave had to go put that I saw you go live on my party. Go pistons. And guess what? Go testing. 
the nicest guy in street racing. Dominator. Only, only guy with turbos that would put that ugly of a hood scoop on his shit. Put your level up. <laughs> What's up, baby? How you doing? Come on, how are you? I don't see the hood off of it. I don't see nothing tore off of it. Turbo oh, car. No, 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 no turbo fans. That's the thing. Everything looks exactly the way it was last week. Turbo shit's tough because while everybody else is like scrapping up the pistons, you know, you gotta find out which lawn chair fits you the best. You gotta figure out how to get the cooler as cold as you can. Yeah. Like, that's the thing. Everybody else is scrapping up the pistons. Everybody else is like scrapping up the pistons. Everybody else is 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 scrapping up that damn 405 guy that ain't testing. What the fuck? <laughs> I actually had to put a starter on it. Started. I started. It was 10 years old. That's of like course. A, that's like a, I mean, <laughs> like a 35 minute job. Yeah. You probably did your all damn day. Yeah. Because <laughs> well, you want to get it shimmed right, you know. I mean, up, down. That's, what? that's the best looking shirt you can find. I don't have any of those Why don't you let me design you one? Alright, I'm good with that. Well, there you go. This is limited edition, guys. Come get your dollar. That's right. These are going out. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your money on that? Oh. <laughs> Here we, we go again. Yeah, you don't got time for that. Bonnie Smith in the house. Nicest guru. Uh, Polly analyst. What do we make? Yeah. 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 Y
I've seen him bring in guys from all over the country to help him win races. Like, this is a guy who's going to go out of his way to make sure he wins this race. Because it's Armageddon, it's in the 4 or 5, he's in this car, and he got it right there on the front. Tell everybody they're out of time, right there. There he is, right there. Out of time. So, if you want to bet against him, call my homie, uh, Lil Coble. He's six years old. He's my son. He'll bet on me for every time. Every time. He's getting a pretty good fan base on social media. The dude is consistent, the dude is deadly on the tree, and he will throw every amount of nitrous he can to this car to win. Uh, he's currently on the list, he's kicking ass, he races with these guys every weekend. He is here. If you are in this game today, you are here. I mean, I can't stress that enough. Every time I turn around, there's another big name. Um, should we go down this way? Yeah, sure. Okay, let's go there and come. Follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. All the Follow keepers. us, everybody. What time is it? Um, I'm not even supposed to be awake yet. Um, it's it's one twenty. Yeah, it's one twenty. So I'm really not supposed to be awake for another hour. <laughs> but all these people are here on a Friday at one in the afternoon. Hey, none of them at work. Yeah. There's a lot of shit not getting done today. But there's a lot of shit getting done. Yeah. This place, the energy here is insane. I mean, I've never had this feeling at a no prep. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. this is what you get at a big national event or at a, you know. Well, even at the big drag radio races we yeah. go to, Friday's not, you know, it's busy. Uh, but there's it a lot of racers, but I mean, this place is huge. It's, it's insane. All right, so. The mistress the in the house. I've uh, been racing with the mistress. Uh, we used to call him Batman. I never even seen him in a Corvette. I don't know why we called him that, man. He may have had a Chevette. I don't know, but uh, he's there been he in the is. game forever. He was uh, he was around for the first cash days. He was he was in the cash days. He was in two, three, four cash days. He One fucked us up in a couple of cash days. Yeah, he fucked up murder over in the cash days. I mean, the dude's been in the game a long time. He's here because this is the biggest, most prestigious no prep to win. Everybody's here because of that, and that's why you're gonna see all the big names come out. It's like a class reunion for street racers gone no prep, you know what I mean? So, what are you going to do? You, know, you got to work on the car all the time. You're always tearing something up, but you're going to put it back together and make this race. That's what all these guys have done. One turbo power, big, big horsepower, another big horsepower car. If the surface is there and he can put the power to it, look out. Because he's not going to get nervous. You're not going to rattle him. He's done it too many times. He's raced all the big names over and over. He was a big name before most of the big names were big names. You know what I mean? So you're not going to rattle this guy. He he lives a half a mile from Ronnie Pace. You know what I mean? When you live that close to Ronnie Pace, you got to deal with that all the time. So he raced with you know Ronnie Pace forever. So big names aren't going to fluster him. Big crowds aren't going to fluster him. The dude's going to put in work. And he's going to go to the starting line. Look for big horsepower twin turbo cars to be consistent and the final if the surface is there. That's what we have to look out for. Okay. He's got the tire, he's got the horsepower. And there he is. What's up, Sean? What's up, buddy? Why do we call you Batman? I don't even know. Did you have a Chevette? No. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen you in a Corvette. Yeah. yeah the first car I've seen him was a was it Yeah, it was a dude. Yeah, we had Bet when we first car. I bought my first Chevy too, probably 17, 18 years ago. All I know is the one you used to race us in, you would see both doors of it all night, guaranteed, every time. And he didn't care. <laughs> yeah. He didn't care. Yep. And still to this Jesse day, he Jennings didn't care. I texted him. We have a moment. Can I see you on the second floor of the timing tower, please? Jesse Jennings. We walked out of the car. Mark Thorne said, we have a moment. Can I see you on the second floor of the timing tower? Yeah, I texted him after he crashed. I said, man, I hope everything's okay. I hope you're all good. He said, car's ready to rock. We're going testing tonight. I'm like, are you, you just, <laughs> like, I just watched the video. He's like, oh, no, no, that wasn't nothing. And I was like, Jesus Christ, you know? <laughs> I crashed a car, I'm out for four months, you know what I mean? This guy, he's ready to rock and roll, so. We wrecked it at Dignite. Yeah, two months ago. You wrecked this one two months? He wrecked this one two months ago. Yeah. <laughs> How many times you hit something? Four, so far. Four. four, that's not bad. Yeah. Not bad. So there you go. Didn't do anything. He ain't scared of But how many times has he not hit anything? Hey, that's true. <laughs> a lot. There you go, right? Like, the odds are in his favor. So he ain't afraid to hit the wall. So if he's gonna make it down through there, you better hope you get down there through there before him. He'll force it down through there. For sure. There's another guy who's come from the street and now doing the no prep thing and, and doing well. Hey, this is like a prep surface, isn't it? 
positive. Yeah. You're right. We were just that kind That of road we were on. This hey, car. This, yeah. this, 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 this is what you guys don't know. A lot of these guys out here claim street. Everybody claim that they're street racers. Everybody claim that they're fucking OG street racing this, OG street racing that. Three weeks, four weeks ago, this car was literally on the street racing for money in a cash days. I was there. Not like his other car that looks like this one. Not his buddy that has a car that he was driving for a guy who had a car. No, no, no. Him and this car were on the street racing in cash days just three, four weeks ago. So, this is street. This is street. No matter what happens out here, none of them track guys are going to take it away from him. He's street. Hey, all that matters is I'm one and one with the frick standing behind you. <laughs> who, who won last? <laughs> hey, and what happened hey, what last? What last? <laughs> who, who won first? <laughs> hey. It's like hey, a reunion. It wouldn't bother me at all to lose that car. That's a bad motherfucker, man. It's like a hey, reunion. but I won last. It's like a reunion. And I'm not going to say it real loud because they're talking, but but I whipped him too. Yeah. I <laughs> a couple times. I beat him a couple times. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good luck, buddy. Who's this guy? What was a nice greeting last night? What the who? That's Larry Larson. <laughs> That's Larry Larson out of no prep. Larry Larson out of no prep. Larry Larson. The six second street truck out of no prep. That's a, that's a five second street truck, sir. He just corrected you. Oh, I'm sorry. I saw that one back there. <laughs> His Nova's here. Why is the Nova here? Yeah, Larry Larson's got the S10 and the Nova here. I gotta go and play with you. I know I'm There's a Nova infamous, infamous street car Nova back there. First one in the six, first one in one, I don't know, 30, 40 drag weeks. You know what I mean? Like, no big deal. Uh, got the truck out here today. Now, are you in the invite race or are you racing your way in? You're in the race. You're in the 32. So Saturday, you're ready to rock. Did you test any last night? Me too. made two hits. How'd it do? There you go. That's that's testing. That's tuning. Yep. Big horsepower. A lot, a lot of horsepower. So another one of those guys with big power. If the surface is there, look out. A guy like this, he's gonna be hard to beat. I mean, okay. he can run threes. Yeah. You know what I mean? When you can run threes with that much tire, that much horsepower, and a guy who's made that many laps in a race car, how are you gonna beat him? You gotta have another one, right? And there's 32 other ones. So we're gonna keep walking. Good luck, later. Who's gonna win? Huh? Who's gonna win? What's that? That's what I hope, man. Who's gonna get second? That uh, don't matter. 
Yeah. Yeah. Second's not important. Uh, hey, is that a Camaro? Oh, that's, yeah, a, right. that's a Camaro. That Man, those new shirts are cool. I'm not sure who this is. I don't know if this is a big tire Camaro. I don't know this car. I don't know this one. But it's got the tire. It looks like it's got a lot of motor. It's got nitrous for sure. Big old carburetor. Looks pretty light. We know who this guy is though. Yeah, here you go guys. Here you go. It's on the, the biggest, page. the biggest, baddest, no prep car that's ever lived. He made like two million dollars this year. I mean, this is the one. Hang on. Because it's Friday at one o'clock and this guy's at the track. He should be in school, but he's at the racetrack. So we're gonna stop what we're doing, we're gonna sign this for him because he's at the track. It's our first right? Oh, yeah. Save your money, little man. Stay in school. Stay in school. Don't drop out. Here you go. Good luck, brother. So, biggest, baddest, no prep car in the game, Birdman. OG Birdman. Another dude came from the streets. The most, one of the most decorated racers in street racing history. He started out in Houston on Rankin Road, behind the titty bar, all that. I mean, you got all the stories you can imagine. These dudes did it. For real. And... They're still doing it to, the, to this day. I think they won like two, three million dollars in no preps. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's it's literally crazy. Like, IRS comes by my shop once a week. Hey, Birdman, come in. No, I ain't seen him. <laughs> They're looking for that money. This guy, is so like, he, he has to bring a double bag. He's taking so much money from no prep racers. It's insane, literally insane. This car is another car that's been on the street. It's raced on the street, it's tested on the street. It's street, another one. There's. There's not as many as you would think here, but this is one that you may not know. This is street race. They street race. They, they will street race illegally, legally, TV, no TV, cops, no cops, they don't care. All they're about is digging in your pocket, and that's what they're going to do. And I know that's what they're here to do. This time, y'all are in the 32, right? Yes. So no more bullshit race your way in. Right. You're in. They can't run from you no more. Can't like to win. No Man. running. All right. Last year, well, we were in the back corner. This year, we're up here with the... Yeah, how'd y'all get up here? We need to fix I'm bird chick. There's another one we're going to have to. Bird chick, see? Bird chick. <laughs> this, and, hey, and if y'all if y'all come up and say the wrong shit, this is the crew you got to deal with. I'm just going to let y'all know. Look at them. They get rowdy. They get rowdy. Yeah. I seen Birdman jump in somebody's ass last time, so. Uh, we were trying to do an interview with him down there in Texas, and he had yeah. to. He, he, he had to stop the interview and go whip somebody yeah. up. You know what I mean? So, uh, this is another one of those big horsepower cars. A lot of horsepower. <laughs> You'll notice on the starting line, too. I don't smell like the rest of the car. Yeah. It's, it's going to hurt a little. It's going to choke you up a little more than normal. He doesn't fart near as bad as he is. Yeah. They can blame it on whatever they want. I know what they're doing. Yeah. yeah. That, they got magic fuel. I'm just going to let you know. It's magic. Super magic. Fuel. Super magic fuel. They're going to be the one banging, pulling flames and doing all shit. Everybody out there is going to be trying to burn them down. Do anything they can because last night I saw him make a test hit and it literally looked like he let off the trans brake and had to pull a chute. It was, it was done. It was, it was ridiculous. ridiculous. It was ridiculous. Everybody out there was like, just stood there. They weren't clapping or nothing. I seen and the then, Facebook post this morning. They're like, yeah, it was all right. Yeah, well, like, of course. Oh, yeah. Everybody turns around and all the drivers are silent. And all their crew guys are going, it wasn't that fast. Yeah. It wasn't that fast. Was we, can, they go, they go, we can work with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that was just a, that was just a show off last night. Today, you guys are off. You guys are here having a good time, right? Hey, that's it. Having a good all time right. meeting the fans. Soak it up, guys. Meeting Have and a good beating time. the fans. And, uh, but Saturday, they're going to get in somebody's pocket. It's 30 grand to win right now, not counting on the side money. If you want to bet with or against Birdman, they'll do it. I guarantee it. For sure. I've never seen the, the old man turn down a bet. So, <laughs> especially if you get if you get loud with him, he'll get loud right back. Yeah. So, um, as far as the flag, it's not, on a, it's not on a tree. It's not on a tree. You're okay with that. You don't care. That guy don't care about nothing. He don't care. He's the one that drives the car. He don't care. A lot of the guys out here with turbo cars are bitching because it's a flashlight, like the street. It ain't no tree. There's no seven seconds. There's no automatic start. There's no come in, come out. There's no bullshit. I mean, this is a go up there and hope the guy you're racing wants to win as bad as you do and hope they're out there to find out who's the baddest to get the money because if you came out here to mess with them or burn them down or try them out, you can bet your ass their car is ready for it. 
they'll sit there. They've gone through it enough time that this car's probably got 20 extra hours worth of work just to make sure you can't fuck with them. Yep. That's And they got the money because they win it every weekend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> every time I wake up, Birdman wins another 20, 30 grand. I'm just like, God, what am I doing wrong? <laughs> they race more no preps than we film TV episodes. Yeah. Yeah, no, they, they race a lot. And he's another one of those drivers that you'll see both doors of it. You may even see the headlights from the starting line. And he, he don't care. No. He don't care. He'll, he'll get out and go, woo, he'll straight. Around, he'll drive in front of you, drive right over the top of you. He don't care. He's going to the finish line first. <laughs> hey, and when he gets out, he's like, no, no, it wasn't that bad. I feel good, guys. I don't look. <laughs> no, that wasn't that bad. No, no. If we was racing, I could, I could figure that out. I'm like, Jesus Christ, I mean, you're missing the whole quarter. He don't care. You know what I mean? And they're going to work on it. They're going to make sure it's ready. They're going to do the thing. Stay away from Birdman in the 32. If you draw that chip, everybody, there's 31 dudes that I guarantee are hoping not to get Birdman in the 32. Sure. Just so they get more time on, on Facebook. You know? Yeah. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Who's going to win it? Yeah. Who's, 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 who's going to get second? I ain't trying to fight you. Dang, hey. That's She's offended that you asked that. He's a smart man. Second place is a first loser. There you go. How much money second place is? We didn't, you didn't even check, did you? <laughs> they didn't even look into it. So there you go. Birdman's on the property. Bad no prep car here. Without a doubt, one of the baddest street race cars here. He's taking a fucking everywhere he's gone, and he, he keeps coming. You know what I mean? That's one of those yeah, guys that, that everybody tries to scream over because he's so fast, but he keeps coming. He don't stop. He don't bitch about it. You don't see him on the internet crying. You don't see him. He's not going to call you and cry to baby yet. He's just going to gonna run it back. Run it back for twice the money. That's what he's going to do. That's Birdman Racing, and they're here as a family, as always, with the baddest no prep car on the property. Thank you. Come back. We're going we're gonna, we're gonna, to we're gonna keep going. Well, I'm just trying to try yeah. get my ass with it. Yeah. <laughs> That's other bird. That's that's big bird. That's that gentle giant. That's that gentle giant big thing. He had to borrow, I think he had to borrow a motor from Bird. what I read. Joe Gentle Giant ass over here. What's this? Look, they got him cleaning the windows. They <laughs> <laughs> wow, need a shorter person right. to clean the windows. This is so small. Red Bull Cody bottle. I know he paid cash for it. Don't tell the IRS. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what's this car? Your car? Yeah. Uh, 95 Firebird. Uh, it's something like a Firebird. Yeah, Firebird. Are you in the 32 or are you wrecking way in?
He's going off a different strategy. So Birdman said they're gonna kick everybody's ass. He said he's due. Yeah. He said he's been on the side. He's been Don't on fire. Don't the Birdman first. If I jump and then I hit him, I mean, that's the plan for y'all. <laughs> I mean, I gotta jump though to hit him. So. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. I'm fucking gonna catch him. No? Yeah. Why not? You got Maybe to the turn off at the finish line. If you're on your roof. Like, yeah. You ain't made a hit in the car for real. No. Man. Never driven. He goes no. <laughs> There you go. You're confident. You can get in it or what? Oh, I ain't said it yet. I ain't got my driving suit here. It's all on bogey shit. Still. <laughs> <laughs> We're just out here putting stickers on. And oh, God damn, I like that guy. Bogey don't get pulled over on the way here because they'll take you to the driving suit. Yeah. You'll never get that pink motherfucker in your back. <laughs> bogey ain't driving. You know, that motherfucker ain't driving. He's probably got paint somebody to drive in here. Yeah, and no, buddy, Buddy's sitting around somewhere drinking something purple. Yeah. And he got people working on the car, moving around for him. Sitting on the yak. Drinks. Yeah, great drink. Yeah, yeah Jumet. Yeah. I seen a guy go by earlier. I said, where are you going? He said, I'm going to the bathroom for Buddy. I was like, damn, that's badass. That's when you know you got money. Yeah, you said somebody else's bathroom. Right now. Yeah, buddy's, buddy's busy. He can't go to the bathroom. So, <laughs> David Burke Jones, another big name. Every step I take is another big name. No prep street, grudge race, everything you can imagine. And this guy actually... NHRA, right? Uh, I, I retired from that. <laughs> he retired from the NHRA. I'm well, trying to get. I'm, I'm trying to get in it. He retired. Yeah. How many wallets your family got? Uh, well, we got 15. When they got to look back. How many? Look back. That's God what, damn. Whenever you say how many wallets your family got, I don't have none. <laughs> when you ask hey, him, a wallet he's gotta, is. He's got to look back. Like how many of those we got? That's how many he's got. Fifteen wallets in wow, his family. Wow, that's crazy. Fifteen championships with the NHRA as a driver. That's impressive. It's fun, but this is a whole lot more fun, you know, the NHRA. Why is this one fun? The NHRA are parking in the back in the fucking rocks. Look where I'm parking in. I don't know how the fuck you got up here. Yeah. Next to Birdman. That, I had one NHRA race. That's what it was. They you. thought you was with him. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they thought I was Birdman. Yeah. yeah. Right, well, we're going to call this the Cuckoo's Nest. Here we go. We'll put these on I like nest. it. This is the Cuckoo's Nest, right? Yeah. All the birds right here. Yeah. yeah. We got Hoss card. So you like the, uh, the no prep deal? Yeah. yeah. It's Friday at noon. Look at these people. Wait, All these people. With our little bumper pull trailer. Get you a 4XLT, a tall shirt. Yeah, it's a long and tall. It's a long and tall. Looks like. All right, so I've been hearing this music. The closer I get, I'm like, man, who is We knew it had to be some of our people. Who is playing that loud ass, thuggish, derogatory rap music? Plan B. Plan B in the house. Another Street Race No Print Grudge Car. Another Twin Turbo, another big horsepower car. Another something that came from Bodie. You know what I mean? Bodie, Bodie walks around, people fall behind him picking shit up. Motor in this car came out of Bodie's car, you know what I mean? So, big horsepower, big tire, lightweight. They got the right music playing. They're in, they're in the zone. Look, turbo. Turbo, so lawn what, chair. Turbo is equal to lawn chair. This is what the turbo guys are doing. The turbo guys are sitting in lawn chairs listening to music. That's the hardest decision all day. What playlist? Yeah. We want Kevin Gates or we want Real yeah. Thug? Yeah. Alright, we're on. Uh, we're gonna keep Hey, my Turbo guy. Turbo guy, look. He gets pedicures. Turbo, turbo guy. He gets pedicures. Why? I call legal clubs. Don't worry about dropping fifteen hundred feet. I stick up dimes with them bastards, boy. Oh, they're so lover. Hammer toe. Hey, have you seen your ears? No. I know these guys, too. Where the car? They ain't even got the car out of the trailer. Who? The 55 crew. Hey, Where's uh, the 55? Must be in the trailer. 55. We know this guy, though. Yeah. There you go. The Honey Badger. <laughs> now look. The two of them. You got both of them. So, the Charles guy, the Choice guy, brothers, they won the first punk ass drag. They've done. Which is a precursor to Drag Week. What you got? What started the Drag Week? But they did it on punk gas. That was back before, you know, you could run whatever you wanted. They had to run pump gas. So, this team here, they street race, they no prep, they pro mod, they big tire. Anything around here that has to do with drag racing, these guys are involved in. Troy Scott, Carl Scott, if you've been racing in Oklahoma long enough, you're going to have a set of valve covers that say Troy Scott's name on. Yep. Everybody at one point in time had Troy Scott's name on their valve covers. So, Watch the oval. I call it the Dragon Slayer. That that, hey, that thing's cool. He raced with us before this deal was huge. Back at when we raced from the other end well, of the yeah, track. The, the, big, the big king of the, the, concrete, the, king of the concrete. Yeah, that, with that same car, same driver. Look for him too. He's gonna drive it. 
didn't hear that he said thousands literally thousands of hits on this track alone this is one of those guys that since i was 15 years old coming out to this racetrack when you see him you say how you doing he says if i was doing any better i couldn't stand it no matter if he lost no matter if he crashed no matter if he watered up no matter if he's pissed off this is one of the guys that like has made this race in this place so big and that's why all these fucking people are here you know what i mean when everybody else was shitting on us for what we were doing guys like him were eight hey. he was begging to get you know, in he was, hey, i, I want to race cool. with you guys i think it's cool if you guys are racing for money i want On street tires. This is one of those three-second cars. Okay. This is an Oklahoma car. You may not have seen it at an Oak Rep yet. You may not have seen it on the street yet. But if you follow the radio stuff, you've seen it. This is a drag radio car that has the capability of running 210 miles an hour. Drop. My phone was coming out of my oh. hand. This car has the capability of running 210 miles an hour in the eight. There's not many cars here on the property, if any. I don't believe there's a car here that can run a mile an hour. Most of them would struggle to run that in a quarter. This, this car has probably has the whole place covered in mile per hour, and they aren't lacking any on horsepower. There is no lack of horsepower here whatsoever. But as you can see, they want to do it so bad, they got them big tires. They ain't no drag radios, folks. <laughs> so you got a guy who's stepping out of his comfort zone. You know, now while most people may not know this, Ryan Martin has been doing this kind of shit here a long time. He's been a part of what we've been doing a long time. He's kept us all out of jail. You know what I mean? Brian's yeah. driving the car? Yes, sir. He's freaking reeking everybody. There's freaking reeking. Y'all know him. Yeah. 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 He wouldn't recognize God that. Goddamn. Hey, car. that's a man's beard right yeah, there. Good job. He's a bear. Yeah. Recently, so, Adam, Richard Adam did have a beard. Ryan Martin has a shop in Oklahoma City. He's been a part of this shit since day one. I mean, he's kept. The, he's literally locked the gates to keep us out of jail before. So. Several times. Here he is, stepping out of their comfort zone. They took a, a drag radio car, put big tires on it, changed the whole thing up, and brought it out here for this race. We were uh, we were talking to him last night on the line. That y'all actually bro broke the rear end. We engine. actually three weeks ago. Four, yeah, three weeks ago, we decided to do this, and we came out here to test, and it actually destroyed the whole rear end. The car shot completely left. Obviously, Same thing we did with the Nova last week. 
he saved it, thank God. He wasn't hurt, no, the car wasn't hurt, so. He's got a new rear end in it, and ready to rock and roll and big tires. Now, are you guys in the 32, or are you racing your way in? We're racing our way in. So hopefully we can race our way in and just knock everybody out and keep going. Another one of those guys who, even though they're on the race your way in, they really belong in the 32, but because of the car they're driving or just the team they're on now, hey, there's OG yeah. right there. Hey, there's, there's the OG Stacy Kenny Jr. right there, small car. Look for him to do the do good in the, the street class. One of the very first street races I ever saw in my life was Stacy Kenny's old man. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, I mean, this place is just full of history and street racing. Like, literally, street racing legends. When I, when I first met... When I first got street racing, that kid right there wasn't but this tall. You know yeah. what I mean? Like that's and his big brother, he'll be here today somewhere and he's gonna have socks on look just yeah. like mine. T Bo, wherever you're at, I guarantee you, he's cholo as fuck right now. Hey, we raced at a uh the the last blast in Emmer uh where Vernon. was that? Vernon. Vernon. Or no, which stuff on a on a uh, instant green yeah, we were that. going like point four on the tree with Sean's car, he was going 0-40 yeah, on an instant green. All the radio guys, they're cool, I like them, they talk shit, we talk shit back, but I ain't seen none of them at these note preps. I ain't seen none of the drag radio guys at the note preps. I've heard a lot of stuff from the drag radio guys. You know, Keith Barry said, I'm coming to a note prep. Keith Barry, don't talk to a note prep. I'm here, I'm out of no prep. Dwayne Mills, uh, he ain't really said much. Dwayne, Dwayne don't really have to say much. Dwayne, Dwayne knows his lane. Yeah, he, he's good. Uh, but a lot of the drag radio guys say they want to try this shit, but they ain't here. Here's one of them that is. It, but it, in the three second range. It's been a 395. This is a three second car on the Prove front. Prove it. Not, not just once. Y'all have done. Yeah, we packed it up. Yeah. Hang you know, on, we got some street cars coming by. Seven second daily drivers everywhere. Yeah, there's seven second daily drivers everywhere around here. Just fucking up our life feed. Man, Mike W's going to take that sticker. That's so, uh. <laughs> hey, that, that kid Whatever does good. Mike W is, he got a razor blade. He's going to scrape the sticker. Uh, He's coasting down a hill somewhere. Yeah, yeah, looking for gas mileage. <laughs> Ryan's been in the game a long time. You may not know him, but he's one of those drivers that should be in the 32, but because of the car you're driving today, he's in the race your way in. Another crew and driver that, this is why I don't like this format, okay? Oh, God. This is one of those cars. This is the scariest part about this, okay? You have big horsepower. You have a reliable car that's not gonna break. See how many chairs around here? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. You got a reliable car, you got big horsepower, yeah, some of the, they've brought in some of the best guys to make sure that they have a chance at winning. I saw Jamie Miller from Proline and Fuel Tech here on the start the line last night testing. Red Hat Mafia is in the building. So you give Red Hat Mafia and Ryan Martin, who you've been racing around here, how many laps you made on this track? Man, you know, it's our own track, so a million, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I mean, there you go. Since, since like, 16, that's, where he's that's probably no exaggeration. So you got a guy like him, and you're going to give him, if he wins tonight, you're gonna give Ryan Martin, Red Hat Mafia, in this car five licks, at least five licks at this racetrack. We're fucked. Before tomorrow, good luck. Yeah. Good luck. You give him five licks at this racetrack, everybody out here is fucked. Birdman, everybody, I don't give a fuck. He's done three. Three. Yeah. Not like 420s, not like 14s, not, not like 440s downhill. Three. Yeah. If he has the capability, he'll put it down. And he's in his street tires, these big tires, come out here and do this. Where, where the drag radio guys at? Yeah, this car normally has a 315-60 drag radio on it that's approved to run up and down state highways. And they changed it all up to put a, a big old Goodyear tire on it to run this race right here. Now, because you broke the car before, you did test last night. We did, yeah. How'd it go? Uh, last night I tested it pretty good. Uh, the, the, the one I seen y'all make it look pretty good. Yeah, we, uh, we, did, we did find the tire shake, so we tried to test it and came out here and destroyed everything in the rear end. Tire shake. We know a little bit about yeah. tire shakes. So, yeah. tore everything up in the rear end. The radios don't shake like that, do they? Uh, nothing. No. <laughs> <laughs> Big, floppy, jalopy. Yeah, those are nasty, floppy, sloppy tires. But, hey, you know, we're here to play the game, so we got to play like that. You're not, you're not out here telling everybody how, how fast you can. You're not no. messing about it. You're not on the line talking about it. This is stupid. You know, you're here. You're working on it. You're making it right. You're making it out of track. You're not bitching that you're not in a 32. Even though there wouldn't be a 32 if it wasn't for guys like Ryan Martin keeping us legit this whole time, keeping us out of jail. I mean, he gives us our dyno, he's too broke to even use one. He's giving us parts, he's letting us use the parking lot. I mean, these guys, as much as we bicker between everybody, this is the type of people you're going to see at this event. Guys that have been together doing this for, you know, it feels like a hundred fucking years. So, you give a guy like this a shot at Race Your Way In, I mean, if he 
does win it, right, it's to his advantage tomorrow because giving five licks to the racetrack and everybody out here is fun. Yeah, we, we, we had a we had a lot of talked about how to be honest we're in this spot because we do get the test. Yeah. So as long, as long as we can get to the field, I mean, that's what they're all testing. If my car was running, I would do anything I could to be in the race yeah, way in. Sure. I give my 32 spot up to be in the race way in because This car, it's a 2010 ish Camaro, 5th gen Camaro. Uh, it's got twin 102 millimeter turbos on it. Right there, Pro Line Power, Jamie Miller in the house working on a car this weekend. Ryan Martin, a driver. It's a, it's a fast car. Car, man, let me get by you. Your car. Hey, Regan's car. We got uh, Vortex Power on it now. What motor is that? Small block. Small block Ford. Small block Ford gonna win. Small tire. Guaranteed. I got my money on. Well, unless it's in. Unless it's in Bruce Wells' car. Yeah. That's a big black. A big bag. A big block from Chicago. I thought it was a small block. No, I heard it was a big block now. So. <laughs> Bruce Wells, he, he didn't know for him. I seen him last night. You making any hits last night? Yeah. How'd it do? It went great.
He's not gonna go up there and call people out. He's not gonna go up there and like make a big ruckus in the driver's meeting. He's gonna take the chip draw. He's gonna try and put out somebody big first round. That's what he does. Look for Kai Kelly. He goes some rounds tomorrow. If he makes it past first round, watch him. Watch him. The dude's going to the final. That's what he does. Keep an eye on Kai Kelly. There's cars and people everywhere. That's I mean, insane. there's just street cars driving around just because they can. Bobby Ducati and the little legend. Bobby Ducati, street, no prep, grudge race, shit talk specialist. I mean, God, I hated you on the internet. Hey, hey. hey, don't worry about it. He pays me to tell him what to do, and he still don't answer me. Nah, I don't answer nobody. I don't give a fuck. Fat, that's what it is. Nah, it's because I'm doing shit like this all the time. I probably got 58,000. Oh, we're reconnecting. I'm sorry. Okay, go ahead. There we go. It's a, it's a Metro PC. Yeah, hey man, they don't pay me a bunch of money. So, Bobby Ducati is here, small tire. Uh, what's the motor in this? A small block? What'd I say? Small block's gonna win. Small, small block Ford's gonna win small tire, that's what I said. Could be, could be Bobby Ducati. He's got a lot of passes on his car, no press right now. So I got a lot of pads on no press wheelie bar. And don't have any wheelie bar? No wheelie bar. No wheel? Wow, I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. I'm gonna show you how it was basically like on a. Hey, I'm put it on a bumper. I've seen this car without wheelie bars before. Up. Hey, that's that's social media gold right there, though. What? Did he, did he stay home? Did he bitch about it? Did he cry about it? No. He said, all right. Bars off, and he's out here. Wednesday night, I slammed it down. Rose front end. Loaded it back again. Do it again. There you go. Rock and roll. Because that's what a racer does. Good luck, brother. Thank you. So, small block Ford. I got, like I said, small block Ford. No small, small block Ford. Ford that's nitrous. That's small tire. Favorite. I don't know who this is, but Bodie's car was up here last night. I don't An see it now. Kinda. Oh, that's a oh, diesel. Look, look. Oh, damn. That's an LS motor, though. This is why what, you take a heads off LS what, motor. They must be changing lift. Probably number seven. <laughs> this is what happens at Outlaw Armageddon. This is where you end up. That, that's what kind of race this is. Yep. When you walk. This is the pits pit, of Outlaw Armageddon. Friday. When you walk around the pits on Friday and guys got some of the heads off the car, motor's still in it. That means they're. They're he, busting. He very easily could have loaded this bitch up on a trailer. And said, Fuck it. I'm just going to yeah, drink the rest of the weekend. But if he wins. But if he wins, but it's he all wins. worth it. Well, hell yeah. You can buy a whole new motor with that. Yep. You can get a junkyard LS at the, at the, at the swamp meet. 500 bucks. Nice to meet you. How are you? How are you doing? All right. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You too. Oh, dude. Podcast shirts. I love it. <laughs> this is Travis? This is Travis? Huh? Oh. This Bodie is the one Junior. I've been hearing about right here. This oh, Bodie yeah, no, Junior. hey, I've seen him headed up to the line last night. I didn't see Bodie it, though. Junior right here. This is, uh, I've been hearing a lot about him. Everybody knows Bodie. Everybody, everybody, everybody knows Bodie. Yeah. You know Bodie. This is Bodie's son, correct? Yeah. Junior. Yeah. Same name. Yep. There you Bodie go. Junior. What are you going to do? I mean, what are you going to do with a Bodie Junior? I we, it's rare. we didn't even think there was going to be ever another Bodie. There is. He's here. There's two Bodies. We can't even handle one Bodie. And you know how much point? money that is? Two Bodies? That's so much money, I don't even know. They need more pockets. <laughs> they, they probably hired him to count it for them. <laughs> There's the Waffle House. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they are. Yeah, and they left you here to watch the car and make yeah. sure everybody don't fuck with them. They ain't here. They're, they're out of doing cool shit. That's what Bodie does. Uh, small tire, racing the night, yes? Yep. Car ready to go? Yep, ready to go. Look out for Bodie Jr. I don't know anything about the kid. I ain't seen him drive. But you can I guarantee. I, ain't, I don't know the name about him, but I know the name. Yep. And I, you can bet your ass, if the car has Bodie on it, it's going to be hard to beat. They're going to go all out. They're going to put all their money to They're going to bet on it. They're going to gamble on it. They're going to toss it all the way to the finish line. I promise you, Bodie, I don't even know Bodie Jr., but he don't give a fuck about this car. You know Bodie and associated with those girls. I can promise you, he will put this car right in the middle of them out there because, why? I mean, he don't care about this car, but you know what I mean? That's what Bodie rolls. Bodie will fix it. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's a Ford Jan Trans Am. They do whatever they got to do to make sure they're at the big races and they gamble the big money. And you're never gonna hear a bad thing about Bodie in the game because you're not gonna he's not gonna do you dirty. He's gonna pay you on a bet, or you're gonna pay him on the bet. But now if you if you do him dirty, don't do Bodie don't dirty. Don't do Bodie dirty. Uh, Just don't do it. You see, you don't you don't want to make you don't want to make enemies with somebody that'll help you out like Bodie will. No. Bodie will do anything for guys in this game. Stream race, snow prep, grudge race, anything you can imagine, Bodie's gonna do it. Drag radial, they've been they've been everywhere. They've done it all. So they got some of the best names, biggest biggest guys in the game, helping them making sure that they're competitive this weekend. Look out for 
but it's a small block? Yeah. No. Oh, well. He said, it. he goes, yeah, he goes, oh, well. Bodie going, Bodie going to slap him for that. Yeah, hey, man. You should have stuck with that. Hey, tell him not to watch this video. It was yeah, a bunch of bullshit. Tell Nobody tell Bodie. Team Bodie Good Racing. Luck. In the house. Man, there's a there's a few cars out on the grass, but uh, I think we've I think we've pretty much seen all the all the really big guys. Yeah. Plus, I'm I'm gonna have to. I mean, not, I know there's more big guys. There's, this place is full of. Big oh yeah, guys. no, it's, it's like, full of nothing but the big guys. I'm gonna take a break. Chuck's over here. Yeah. I see uh, Andrade. I see Chuck. Uh, Man, people people like Andrade. You wanna go talk to Andrade for a second? Uh, yeah. No, I'm just saying he's a he's a crowd favorite. We're gonna go over here and talk to Andrade for a minute in the cutting. Then we're gonna take a break. Oh, we better go talk. Yeah, that's good. Hey, dude. Hey, he made a uh, pretty good pass last night. Yeah, no, it's fast. It's really, really fast. There's, there's Chuck's car right there. We, we can't even get in. I would go talk to Chuck, but we can't even get into Chuck's pit. No. Chuck is so badass. I'm not even allowed. You gotta have a wristband to get in Chuck's pit. Hey, car, kicker, kicker, don't play around with their stuff. No, you can, the car is ugly as hell, but it's fast. Go party. figure. Chuck is a party. Chuck is a party. Chuck's a goddamn liability. Chuck is a liability, that's for sure. <laughs> every which way you turn, every which way you turn, there's another big name in the game, another car, another driver, more history, more history, more history. That's the way, I mean, dude, everywhere I go, I can't, we can't even go back without running into somebody in the game that, that's been in it forever that everybody knows. You got the Cuddy? This car has been through a lot. He's, he's in, in a short he, time. In a short time. He's transformed it. It's gone from nitrous to turbo. It's gone from small tire to big tire, back to small tire. He's, he's making laps in it every weekend. Uh, small tire? He's in small tire this weekend. He's in small tire. So he's racing tonight in a small tire. Two rounds tonight in a small tire. So look out for a guy like Andrade because... Man, that whole thing is loud. A little import. Yeah. A little weed eater. Look out for a guy like Andrade because... He's been driving this car a long time. We all know he ain't scared of, of slamming it up against something and bringing it back out. He'll duct tape it back together. He'll do whatever he got to do. The whole Andrade family will have his back. They will put him on their shoulders and go to the finish line. That thing smells like my banshee. That's cool. That is cool. Hey, there's a couple pretty cool imports here. Oh, this that's weekend. my boy.
I got it. There we go. All right. So, uh, hey, what's up? Yeah, you got a, you got a pen? I'm sorry, I don't have one. I'm sorry.